Paramount Pictures. It's the Tom Mikeish Show. Why don't you have the balls to stand up to me? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Mikeish. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Mikeish Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Listen, name James writes in, and, uh, you know, I do this show every day without fail. My message is on point and consistent. I tell you guys what to do and what not to do, and I'm very clear about why you need to do the things I tell you. And yet you continue to write in and say what loyal listeners you are and how you follow my rules, and then you continue to tell me how you screwed up. Or you go ahead and do your own thing without uh, paying any attention to what I've been telling you. Then you can't figure out why you're all effed. Like James. James writes, Tom, I've been a long-time listener. At least when I lived in Huntington Beach, California. Now living in a town called Canby, located in Oregon. It seems that the women up here are ATM machines for babies. Seems like every woman I met up here has two-plus kids even the ones that are my age, 24. Okay, so before we get started with uh, this letter from James, let's review. He's 24. So what is it that uh, your professor recommends? You have no serious relationships. You have no children. You don't impregnate anybody. You don't get married. Get your career together. Nobody moves into your place. You don't move into anybody else's place, right? It's pretty simple. And James claims to be a long-time listener. So here's what James has to say. Now I'm in a messed up position with my current ex. My current ex. What does that mean? On the way into Paramount today, I was passing 40 Deuce, which is over here on Melrose. You've seen 40 Deuce on TV. They had a reality show. We had Ivan Kane on the show years ago. 40 Deuce is celebrating, the sign says they're celebrating their unprecedented fifth anniversary. <laughs> well, of course it's unprecedented. Oh, by the way, it's their last fifth anniversary they'll ever celebrate. <laughs> but it's unprecedented. A superfluous word if there ever was one. Yeah, I know. Look at them all up. Just, just get out the goddamn dictionary, will you please? Their unprecedented fifth anniversary. <laughs> if you're on Melrose Avenue, just a little bit east of Vine on the south side of Melrose, you will see 40 Deuce. It's, uh, it's right near the corner of Gower and Melrose. And there's the sign. <laughs> Celebrate their unprecedented five, fifth year anniversary. Anyway, James who writes the letter is in a messed up position with his current ex. Well, I guess it would be his ex current girlfriend, and now she's the current ex. He says, I can't get her to move out because her name is on the lease in a way that she is allowed to occupy the premises. But I am on it as a tenant, and I am the one signed on it. Well, James, what do I tell you about that? 
Don't let them move in. Don't be having a girlfriend. Long-time listener. <laughs> Are you kidding? You're a long-time non-listener. You turn the radio on, you put it on the correct station, then you went off and did your own thing. He goes on to say, I'm the one that has all the bills in my name. I'm the one that makes the rent within a week, where she would barely make rent in the matter of a single month, unless you include her scholarships. <laughs> uh, James, I take it you did not get any scholarships. Just curious. Because I to say here, this is James, a longtime listener, who of course has uh, paid attention to all my teachings. He says, why is it that a single mother of four kids, and she is 30, automatically think that they get to keep the house? Is it even worth it to answer that question? Why even waste my time? He says, I understand that if I was responsible for one of the kids, but I currently have no kids. Currently. <laughs> there he is with the current word again. She has threatened to legally remove me from the house because I'm not moving. And is now falsely accusing me of things. She has said, no judge will make me move out. And it's this type of crap that pisses me off. And I've said a judge can't make me move, considering I'm the sole financial responsibility for this house. He says, I'd love to call in when you have a topic like this. Well, I'm never going to have a topic like this, because this whole convoluted situation is pretty unique, James. I wouldn't say it's unprecedented, but it's definitely currently unique. I mean, we just talked about this. So you not only were not a listener in the past, you were not a recent listener. I have said on the air, and by the way, I've had a number of people call in and say, hey, I tried this and it worked. I've had a number of people say on the air that, uh, Tom, thank you, you saved me. I got her to move out. I told you how to do this. If all the bills are in your name, simply turn off the utilities. Move in with a buddy for a few weeks and turn the utilities off. Continue to live up to your responsibility to pay the rent, but turn off every utility. Turn off the electricity. Turn off the gas. Turn off the hot water. Turn off the cable. Turn off the telephone landline. Turn off the Internet. Turn off all utilities. Turn them off. And then if she wants to live there with her two kids with no water and no electricity, let her do it. Till the end of the lease, and that's, that's uh, you know what? That's what you're going to have to pay for being an idiot. That's the stupid tax, and, and you're overdue. Are you kidding me, right? I don't care if she's got kids. I don't care what the deal is. Pal, why are you paying the electric bill? Why are you paying the gas bill? Why are you paying for water? Her kids are doing their homework using your computer, on your internet. Why don't you just turn it all off? And if you really want to be a jerk, do you have a friend with a garage? Take everything that's yours, all the furniture, TV sets, computers, whatever belongs to you, and store it in somebody's garage for a while. Or put it in a public storage unit or something. Just get it all the hell out of there. If she has to buy it, for example, do you own the refrigerator? Time to take it with you. Not that it'll do any good with no electricity. How could you be so stupid as to move in with a single mother of four children who's six years older than you? Folks, do you think I'm being unreasonable here? Tom, Tom, Tom Likas. Tom Likas. 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 1-800-5800-TOM. Hey, the best thing to happen to men since remote control. Thank you. It's the Tom Likas Show.
from Paramount Pictures. It's the Tom Mikey Show. Why don't you have the balls to stand up to me? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Listen, name James writes in, and, uh, you know, I do this show every day without fail. My message is on point and consistent. I tell you guys what to do and what not to do, and I'm very clear about why you need to do the things I tell you. And yet you continue to write in and say what loyal listeners you are and how you follow my rules, and then you continue to tell me how you screwed up. Or you go ahead and do your own thing without uh, paying any attention to what I've been telling you. Then you can't figure out why you're all effed. Like James. James writes, Tom, I've been a long-time listener. At least when I lived in Huntington Beach, California. Now living in a town called Canby, located in Oregon. It seems that the women up here are ATM machines for babies. Seems like every woman I met up here has two plus kids. Even the ones that are my age, 24. Okay, so before we get started with uh, this letter from James, let's review. He's 24. So what is it that uh, your professor recommends? You have no serious relationships. You have no children. You don't impregnate anybody. You don't get married. Get your career together. Nobody moves into your place. You don't move into anybody else's place, right? It's pretty simple. And James claims to be a long-time listener. So here's what James has to say. Now I'm in a messed up position with my current ex. My current ex. What does that mean? On the way into Paramount today, I was passing 40 Deuce, which is over here on Melrose. You've seen 40 Deuce on TV. They had a reality show. We had Ivan Kane on the show years ago. Forty Deuce is celebrating, the sign says they're celebrating their unprecedented fifth anniversary. <laughs> well, of course it's unprecedented. Oh, by the way, it's their last fifth anniversary they'll ever celebrate. <laughs> but it's unprecedented. A superfluous word if there ever was one. Yeah, I know. Look at them all up. Just, just get out the goddamn dictionary, will you please? Their unprecedented fifth anniversary. <laughs> if you're on Melrose Avenue, just a little bit east of Vine on the south side of Melrose, you will see 40 Deuce. It's, uh, it's right near the corner of Gower and Melrose. And there's the sign. <laughs> Celebrate their unprecedented five, fifth year anniversary. Anyway, James, who writes the letter, is in a messed up position with his current ex. Well, I guess it would be his ex-current girlfriend, and now she's the current ex. He says, I can't get her to move out. Because her name is on the lease in a way that she is allowed to occupy the premises. But I am on it as a tenant, and I am the one signed on it. Well, James, what do I tell you about that? 
Don't let them move in. Don't be having a girlfriend. Long-time listener. <laughs> Are you kidding? You're a long-time non-listener. You turn the radio on, you put it on the correct station, then you went off and did your own thing. He goes on to say, I'm the one that has all the bills in my name. I'm the one that makes the rent within a week, where she would barely make rent in the matter of a single month, unless you include her scholarships. <laughs> uh, James, I take it you did not get any scholarships. Just curious. Because I to say here, this is James, a longtime listener, who of course has uh, paid attention to all my teachings. He says, why is it that a single mother of four kids, and she is 30, automatically think that they get to keep the house? Is it even worth it to answer that question? Why even waste my time? He says, I understand that if I was responsible for one of the kids, but I currently have no kids. Currently. <laughs> there he is with the current word again. She has threatened to legally remove me from the house because I'm not moving. And is now falsely accusing me of things. She has said, no judge will make me move out. And it's this type of crap that pisses me off. And I've said a judge can't make me move, considering I'm the sole financial responsibility for this house. He says, I'd love to call in when you have a topic like this. Well, I'm never going to have a topic like this, because this whole convoluted situation is pretty unique, James. I wouldn't say it's unprecedented, but it's definitely currently unique. I mean, we just talked about this. So you not only were not a listener in the past, you were not a recent listener. I have said on the air, and by the way, I've had a number of people call in and say, hey, I tried this and it worked. I've had a number of people say on the air that, uh, Tom, thank you, you saved me. I got her to move out. I told you how to do this. If all the bills are in your name, simply turn off the utilities. First of we didn't get married because of the kids like most I got disconnected. Uh, no, you didn't. All right, all right. Hello? 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 Yeah. Hello? Yeah, hello. Hello? Your time is up. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Sean on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's going on? Not much. Hey, uh, I was just calling about the, that listener who, uh, you know, got stuck in the, uh, uh, you know, apartment, Lisa, you know, everything. You know, it's like... I did the same thing all these other guys are talking about. You, know, you cut off the utilities, you cut off the phone, you know, but, you know, you got to make it as hard as possible for that, that girl to live there. And you know what, man, I, I took the mailbox key. I did everything. I made her life hell. I, I took the refrigerator. I, I turned the power off. I, I took my stuff. I moved out so she couldn't call the cops on me. And then, you know, she, she, she still wouldn't move out. Um, I, so I actually, I, I, you know, fornicated a you know fake eviction notice put it on the door the you did you did what you fornicated a fake eviction notice exactly how'd yeah. you do that did you I, roll I, it up first what's that did how'd you do that did you roll it up first well basically i went down to i'm, just, I'm trying office. to picture the fornication of uh, an eviction notice well basically I, I wanted to look at make it look as legal as possible right. you know even though it was totally had no merit and it was totally fake right so you, you know, fornicated so, so I got the, I, you know, I actually I got the um, eviction notes from the office. The the lady there knew my situation. She was very, you know, friendly. Did you fornicate her too? I wish, but I didn't. I, <laughs> I, I didn't get the chance to do that. Um, I see. 
But uh, but no, I, and I t- so I took their form, I and I retyped it basically, and and I put my own date on there and everything. I I put it on the front door, and she was stupid enough. She actually bought it, and she moved out by the time the the thirty days, and I moved back in. It was it was awesome. <laughs> It was awesome, and, and let me tell you something, man. That was two years ago, and I was—I didn't listen to your show back then, but now I listen to it a little bit more. And you know, I've been single for these last two years. Let me tell you, man, it's the, my life is—I mean, a hundred times better. It's the best, right? It's the best. It is. I, I'm I'm single, and you know, occasionally it's uh, it you know kind of sucks every once in a while, but for the most part, I wouldn't. I would not get involved. I'm, I'm 24. Would not get involved at least until I'm 30, uh, you know, and I'm done with what I want to do. Just think of all the and, money you've saved. My oh, God, yeah. you can buy yourself the plasma TV that you've wanted. You can uh, get yourself, uh, you know, any kind of DVD players or gadgets you want to have. You can get a better car. Exactly, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I was stupid enough. I actually bought her a car. And uh, I, t- I took that from her too, but you know, I, I, I sold that, you know, and sold my car and got a better car. And yeah, it's, I mean, everything. I mean, financially, emotionally, everything's better. And you know, I just, uh, it, you, you know, for all those guys listening out there, if you ever get stuck in that situation, you got to make it war. You know, you, you gotta, you gotta hold your ground and take that damn apartment. You know, and 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 she even had a kid too. That was the worst part about it. But. Oh. Uh, you know, I, I don't. That's not my problem. You know what? She she put herself in that situation. But it was because the kid was living at your house. Yeah, she was. I was taking care of her and her daughter, Ugh. and uh, I, you know, I was an idiot, hands down. You know, but I, man, I, I it's you know, you, who you know, you gotta, you just gotta be war. You know, wage war. You know, it's like, uh, it, you know, she don't 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 let girls get away with that. You know, that, that's just wrong. So, I just wanted to share that. Well, thank you for that, Sean. Glad you learned something there. Wow. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Sebastian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I just want to comment on that idiot, man, with, with the four kids. I mean, how stupid can you be? I think that she was probably looking for, like, a sugar daddy, you know, somebody to support her and her four kids. I mean, I don't know. She must have had a or something, man, because... I mean, how stupid can you be to do that? I mean, for real. Uh, it wasn't her money, right? Because she moved in with this guy. She so. moved into his place with four kids, and I'm um, sure that he was covering some of the expenses. Yeah, I mean, that's that's ridiculous. Check this out, man. I went over to Iraq. Um, I was dating this chick for a while. And, you know, I came back. Before I came back, she told me, yeah, I have, I have a kid. Like, oh, damn, you know, it's my kid. Nope. I come back. This kid's like three years old. I was only out there for, what, like a year? And, I, and she has a four year old kid. I'm like, whoa, 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 what's up? What's up? She's like, well, you know, I thought it could work. This now, like, what? You know, why'd you lie? Hey, 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 you gotta watch your mouth. We're on the radio. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, man. So I'm like, no, this is totally bogus, man. Forget this. You know, she, she. I mean, I don't know. She found out about the, uh, the, the good stuff the military has to offer. But no way, man. I was freaking boned out. But anyways, yeah. Back to this guy. How? I mean, that's stupid, though. Hey, but y'all like your ideas about the electric bill and all that stuff. That's fun. Yeah, um, it really is uh, foolproof. I mean, uh, I, if if she gives you that crap about, you can't make me move out. Oh, yes, I can. But yeah, yeah, the, the way you do it, you don't change the locks. You're not required to provide her with free electricity, free cable, free yeah. hot water, internet access, cell phones. You just turn all that stuff off. Yeah. No. <laughs> man, hey, man. I love your show, man. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you, Sebastian. I mean, hey, by the way, how many of uh, your appliances is she using? Or her kids? Refrigerator, TV, computer. You load that stuff up into your best friend's truck and move it to his garage or take it somewhere else. one eight hundred five eight hundred 800 tom That's our telephone number. This is Matt on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up, man? First, I have, I've been listening to you only for a little bit of time, but, man, you you are you are it, man. I really like your stuff. you got a great philosophy. Thank you. Um, I got some questions for you. I figured, you know, you'd be the guy to talk to. Um, you know, young guy, 22 years old, uh, been a professional model for the last four years, and, uh, you know, smart guy that I am, I got married to an older woman, Ugh. and, uh, yeah, you know, I haven't been listening to your show. I just moved out west coast. You know, don't be mad at me. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, I mean, it's we were up in New York. You know, a lot of stuff went crazy. You know, 
And right now, long story short, I'm in a situation where, you know, I don't know what to do, if I should leave her, if I should stay with her. I mean, a lot of baggage she brought into the relationship. Did you have kids with her? Dealing with it. Did you have a kid with her? No, no, no. I'm, I'm no kids. I got dogs, and that's it. <laughs> well, you're not required to stay. Why don't you get out? You know, I, there's this, I mean, I just feel... I don't know if I feel obligated, or maybe a little bit, but at the same time, I, I still kind of love her. But, you know... It's like there's a point where I, I, in my head it's like, you know, the things that I want to do with my life and I want to go back to New York, you know, I can make I make good money when I'm modeling, whatever, you know. I got a, I got a promising future, and I feel like with her, you know, and her spending habits and all the stuff she's doing, it's just dragging me down. Well, you know? get out. Just that simple? Matt, how complicated is it? I mean, I... Dude, I, I gave up a lot for this girl, man. I, my, my family stopped talking to me four years ago because I'm with her. I mean, giving her up is like, I guess, admitting that I was wrong, man. You were wrong. wrong. <laughs> What's wrong. wrong with admitting you were wrong if you're wrong? Yeah, you're right. You're right, man. I don't know. It's rough. You'd rather live a miserable life just to prove you were right? No, and no, we've had that conversation, too. I've talked to her about it. I said, you know what, I'm not going to live unhappy. Either things are going to change or, or I'm out of here. And, and she, you know, she'll make a couple little changes here and there and this and that, you know. And, and I guess it'll be parents like she's changing, but, you know, she thinks she's changing. It doesn't really... People don't change for you, Matt. Stop hallucinating. Hallucinating? <laughs> yes, hallucinating. Stop hallucinating. I just do my thing, huh? Get out. Yeah, I hear you. All right, well, you know, coming from the truth, I guess it's the thing to do. <laughs> That's what you got to do, baby. Coming up, we'll meet the guy who wrote the email. He's calling in next. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. If your boyfriend makes $28,000 a year, you are hideous. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're talking about James, who wrote us the email about his inability to get rid of his six years older girlfriend and her four kids. They won't leave. He can't get rid of them. Jared on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. Great. Um, a question for you. Now, when... When this gentleman, uh, he, he's in the, the uh, apartment with his, his girlfriend and her four kids, was he a uh, lessee? Yes. He was. Okay. So that's a legally binding document. Right. Correct? And I never said that he shouldn't pay the rent. He's required to do that. Correct. And he's, he's got to... required to pay the rent. However, when he shuts off the power and, and shuts off all the utilities, like you, you would advise any, any man in his situation... Right. What happens when the DA or the cops come in and charge him with negligence to the children? He's not a, he's not a parent. He doesn't have to be a parent. Yeah, he does. The children, the legal address for the children is that apartment. Well, and, and, and if, they, if, they, if the kid's mother wants to turn on the electricity and put it in her own name, if she wants to put water in her own name, if she wants to put Internet in her own name, if she wants to put a telephone in her own name, she's certainly welcome to do that, and he shouldn't do anything to interfere with that. But he wouldn't, you don't think he would be uh, no. charged with anything for violating the lease? No, because you're not required to have electricity when you lease an apartment. Okay. All you're required to do is pay the rent and not break the law. I understand. Okay. That, that's what your requirements are. You're living up. See, what's brilliant about this plan is it lives up to the letter of the lease. In no way does it violate the lease. You're not required to have water when you rent an apartment. You're not required to have the Internet. You're not required to have a telephone. You're not required to have electricity. You're Just not required, required to have to gas. You're required to pay the rent and not damage the apartment. Correct. Okay. That so he will, be, he will be completely in compliance, and he's under no obligation to pay these bills. I mean, he can turn them off. So, by the way, not leave them on and refuse to pay. Turn off the utilities. That way you stop paying. And by the way, you know, she's absolutely entitled to turn on the electricity in her own name, put down deposits with all the different companies. Chances right. are she can't or won't. All right, so she probably has no legal grounds to to screw him over with uh, any negligence to the kids. He, he's not their parent. 
That's good. All right. That's, yeah, that's good. All right. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Now we have James on the phone here. James. Yeah. You're the Tom? guy who wrote this email. Yeah, I'm the one that wrote that email. You're the uh, long-time listener, are you? I used to listen when I was down in California. That was about two years ago. But... Yeah, when you were listening two years ago, uh, what did I tell you about moving in with a single mother? Never. Right. What did I tell you about having a serious relationship before age 25? Uh, didn't catch that one. I say yeah. it all the time, and I was saying it uh, two years ago, five years ago, eight years ago. No serious relationship before age 25, ever. Yeah. So you went ahead and did that. I went ahead and did that. I mean, I should have ran when I heard four kids. I should have. You should have run if you heard one kid. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, you should have run when you heard that a woman wanted to move into your place. Well, we found this place together, but, I mean, I'm the one that found it. I'm the one that signed the lease. I'm the one that took care of everything, security deposit, all the bills, everything is in my name and all these states they don't care about the guy they just care about the girl with the well kid. but james now yeah. when did you start hearing the show again uh i just found it again streaming online a few days ago okay we talked about this issue a couple of weeks ago you with me yeah all right yeah, and somebody i'm sorry go ahead Somebody told me about this show a few weeks ago, and that's when I started looking for it. Yes. Just start streaming it again. Your lease, you're at an apartment, is it? No, it's a house. It's a house. Your lease requires you to do, as far as I know, unless you agree to other things that aren't normally in a lease, essentially two things. It requires you to pay the rent all the way to the end, and it requires you to not damage the premises. Right. Or break the law. Is that right? Right. Correct. Does it require you to pay for the electricity? No. Does it require you to have electricity? No. Does it require you to have gas? No, it doesn't require. Does All it, re it says in the lease is tenant is responsible for his own gas, electricity, garbage, sewage, any of that, water. Does it require you to have cable TV? No. Does it require you to have a telephone? Nope. Does it require you to have Internet access? No. All right. So why are you paying for all of that? Uh, because my business is from home. I run. I work from home. Don't you have any friends? Yeah, I have family that lives up here, too. Great. So could you not move in with your family for a couple of weeks? Yeah, I could. Could you not turn off the electricity? I could, but I've heard from legal counsel that I would be in that I would get in deep crap for uh, child endangerment. These are not your children. Exactly. That's what I tried to point out. It's not my responsibility to keep the bills on in my name because none of the children are mine. Right. Which is why I tell you not to move in with children because then people start saying things like this. Yeah, and I know, uh, I know up in Washington, which is a good thing, it's not Washington, after you've lived in the same area for us or in the same apartment or house for a certain amount of time even if those kids aren't yours you're now legally responsible for child support james you know i'm uh, james two years ago when you were listening to this show and you lived in uh, southern california i was telling you that about the state of washington yeah and so good thing but, i'm not up there but i mean all these states i mean james i, I don't i don't understand why you did this i don't either no, don't tell me you don't. You, you, you were mean, that you were desperate, head. right? You were desperate to get laid. That's why you did it. Yeah. I mean, it. I. I was thinking with the wrong head. It's just like the girl that called. I think it was the first girl that called. I'm an effing idiot. Yeah. Uh, By the way, uh, do you pay any of her bills? Uh. Well, there's a cell phone on my account, but I've already turned that off. Great. Did she complain about that? Uh, she wasn't too happy, but she hasn't paid me in the past month or two, actually two months now. There we go. All right, so she has no cell phone now. How about the uh, Internet? Internet? All I have to do is unplug her computer from my Internet. Well, no, no. How about you just turn your Internet off? 
Well, I could do that once I find another place to use the Internet. Oh, well, that, how about your parents' house? Well, my aunt and uncle are up here. Whatever friend you have. Yeah, I could do that. You're going and to I be mean, with I've her. I've already thought about it. There's going In the next week, I'm going to be at my aunt's house dog sitting, and so I'm going to be over there with the Internet. I was just going to call the utilities and have them turned off, say I'm going for extended vacation. I don't know when I'm going to be back. Mm-hmm. And let me ask you another question, James. Um, how long has this lease got to go? How Three long? Months. Three months? Oh, wait, four months. Well, that's not even that long. Yeah. All right. So have you talked to the landlord about the possibility of, of a buyout? Well, I'm talking to the landlord about that, and I'm also talking about the landlord of see if we could do like a have him have the sheriff's serve a notice to vacate premises and she's only allowed to occupy and she's not on the lease and what did your legal counsel say about that they said that it's probably not possible they said that i'm pretty much stuck in the position on that mm -hmm. and that either i could try and terminate the lease and then i'm out of five thousand dollars five thousand dollars why to terminate the lease, I have to cancel it early. So, uh, wait a minute. It, what, what rent do you pay? How much do you pay? Rent, 1200 a month. So, why wouldn't you be out 3600 If it's three months to go, why wouldn't you be out oh, 3600 $3, $3, yeah. $3,600. Yeah. Right. And, and she's already... But, but you understand that some... Have me, just like I said in the email, she'll have me legally removed, which she can't. And... I mean, she's already, she's digging for any type of way to get me out of here. Like, I buy a lot of computer toys. Right. And, you know, the little bags that they come in? Yes. Well, I just tear them open and I take out, like, my Bluetooth headset. I take out the extra earbuds to find the one that I want to wear. And she came to me on Sunday night and accused me of buying dope and buying drugs because of these little computer part baggies that I rip open. <laughs> And so she's, like, stretching on trying to find a legal bound to get me out of here. By the way, whose TV does she watch at night? Her TV. She has a TV? Does it have cable? Because it's in my office. Does she have cable? Yeah. Turn it off. Turn off all the cable? Turn off the cable. That's not a bad idea. All right. You're not required to have internet. I mean, I don't. I don't watch cable anyways. All right. I don't watch well, TV. Well, what are you doing? I mean, you're, you're making it easier for her to stay there. Yeah. I mean, do you have a land? A, do you have a landline telephone? No. You do not. No. So there's no telephone service. So how do you get internet at the house? I use cable. You have cable mode. The actually, we do have technically a landline through the cable internet i have vonage oh okay you have a voip phone yeah does she use it uh well now she has since i turned off the cell phone take it out by the way i my understanding of voip and i have a voip phone is that if you plug it in at your aunt's house or wherever you go it'll work there exactly so just do it and Take the phone and lock it in the trunk of your car. Yeah. Take the network adapter that uh, allows you to plug the phone in, too. Just take it. It's yours. I would... Here, would you just move out and turn off all the utilities? That's what I would do. How about a newspaper? Do you get a newspaper? No. Okay. Is there anything else that you get that she uses? Uh... No. All right. What about groceries? Who pays for those? Oh, uh, that was the argument. She uh, she goes for the groceries, but I don't eat at the house, so it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just going to tell you not to go to the supermarket either. By the way, whose refrigerator is that? I don't. There's no reason for me to go to the grocery store because I eat out. Who owns there's the no Who owns? Hello. Hello. Who owns the refrigerator? That was actually here when we 
That was actually part of the lease. Right. Well, you, are, you know what I'm trying to tell you here, James. Stop making it so easy for her to stay there. And then maybe she leaves on her own. The Tom Likas Show.